we're gonna start with the fairy charm so that we can uh, build towards a fast tier of the goddess and start stacking that up for a Miramana. So generally when you're trying to stack for a tier, you, you build something like a fairy charm as your first item and then you just get potions and a ward to sustain and stay in your lane. I should group with my team. Get lag, have feeders. Report. Verbal abuse. DM. Holy shit, dude. Cannot rest. My uncle is riot, I ban you. <laughs> Don't lie to me now. Don't you lie to me now. Ain't you supposed to be at work? Alright, I'm get a uh, Acid Hunter level 1. Okay, they're, they're just doing their own thing. I, I have to go to my lane. God bless. Whoops. And before they actually invaded us, and I'm about to get, I'm about to get surprise butt sex. But uh, I'll be careful. Oh shit, these traps though. That wasn't too nice. Very nice. Very nice. I didn't check our red. Maybe I should have. But it's too late now. I don't want to push this out, because Urgot's really easy to gank. He's not easy to fight, but he's easy to gank, so... Oh. Support for support. Unfortunately, they got the first blood, so they got a little extra money off of it. But still one for one. Hopefully that doesn't get any worse than that. So I can't see Nidalee beating... Urgot in a straight up brawl. And once I get levels, I can I can zone her off the creeps if she has to push in cat form. As long as I don't get denied. Oh my god. I missed a really important CS there. So get shield at level 2. Just gonna poke a bit. Maybe I can bait a heal out. Try to get him to blow some mana here. So he went with the tier 2. I think he might be going AP. Yeah, AP probably would be better against Urgot than, uh... Well, I wouldn't say better, but Bruiser, I don't think, works too well against Urgot. Because he gets a lot of armor pen and armor shred. And he just gets really tanky, so it's hard to fight him. I was expecting uh, Lulu to be top, so I didn't. W I wanted to pick someone who didn't get completely destroyed by Lulu. Oh fuck. Oh that's right, I took level E at level 3 instead of the Q. Usually I, I take 2 points into Q and then I get E afterwards because uh, reason being is that Q isn't really that great until you get a few points into it. So even if you lock on, um, you're just going to waste mana with a level 1 Q. It's not that great. Got him. He's conserving that mana of his. So I should have warded a while ago, but I haven't gotten around to it. The lane is somewhat even, so... Like, he knows the ward's still in my inventory, so I don't have a ward. Like, he can see that. I remember back playing Dota when you used to be able to give your teammates items and gold. You just like feed your carries up. Oh my god. It's broken. That, and I just reminded me of that because I was like, I could... If only this were Dota, I could put the ward next to my tower. Like throw it on the ground as an item without putting using it. So you can put items on the ground. And then you would think I placed my ward. Next level. 
Yeah, I'm gonna push this out and then go by. Just gonna use up some mana here because, uh... There we go. Let's kinda get him a little, uh... A little scared. Hey, he just used the spear, so he's not gonna be able to spear the bush. Get my tier. Grab a Dorans. And we're pretty good to go. I'm actually gonna pick up a pink ward. For his ward. A lot of people don't do this, including myself. I kind of forget to do this, but if you have the money to, it's actually good to buy a pink, so you can uh, clear their ward if they place one. He's uh, gonna be able to rely on traps for a while, but eventually he's gonna want to put a ward down. I'll be ready for it. Even though Trindamir is not like the greatest ganker in the world, I mean, I can provide all the CC. He just needs to smack her, smack that ass. Yeah. Oh, he's level six. That's right. I left the lane, so yeah, he's probably gonna leave too. He's realizing like I've got a tier already. Oh, I couldn't get that one. Team's winning. That's good. Just uh, up here farming. So I'm gonna place my ward over here. Just the green one, so I can see where he places his when he decides to place his ward. So he's going AP, it looks like. What the heck? I screwed up my lock on so badly right there. I thought he was gonna jump backwards, because like, why would he jump into me, right? An enemy has been slain. Yeah, as AP nid, I'm gonna be able to push this guy to his tower, so. At least he'll scale the late game, but laning wise, he's probably gonna have some trouble. Yeah, my team is just owning right now. If I just win my lane, I think we'll be good. Nice jump. He was ready for that. I didn't realize I had taken so many tower hits, so I just died. I was oom and I took a lot of tower hits, I wasn't paying attention to my HP at all. I'm gonna buy two long swords and a bunch of health pots. That was really bad by me. I was not paying attention at all. Uh, he has no- he has nothing though. This guy should be able to kill him. Actually, no he won't. He has no red buff. Without a red buff, it's not gonna work out. Yeah, I took way too many tower hits there without paying attention. So when he jumped on me, I was already like really almost dead. I was like, wow. Didn't realize I was so low. And oom. Because I was just like zoning out. Oh well, that doesn't, that doesn't necessarily mean he wins this lane. Like he's actually still going to be behind. Just on the matchup. How many times did Annie kill her lane opponent? I'm surprised he's killing Lulu. I thought Lulu would do better. I guess Annie is really fucking scary though. Not good. Well, I'm chugging way too many pots, so I need to fight. He's almost doom already. Oh god. 
I'm dead to this guy. Oh, my ward wore off. Back top. Drag. All right, so this guy's gonna get dragged. I wasted my flash. That was not good. I was gonna kill Nidalee, but then Zack saved her. Right there. Oh, damn, it's okay. We get Dragon, so I get my Brutalizer. Nice. I'm gonna get a Brutalizer, and then Miramana is the next thing I'm gonna build. Brutalizer is good for the cooldown reduction and the armor pen, but really the cooldown reduction is what you want. Uh, once you get a certain amount of CDR on, on uh, Urgot, you can use 4 Qs when you land an E instead of just 3, which uh, actually is pretty huge. We're gonna take mid tower too. Right, just because he got this tower though doesn't mean he can go any further. I mean, if Zack keeps coming up here, our other lanes are gonna keep winning. They're all like this Draven is fucking unreal, Fed, and he's not doing anything about him. I kind of expected Zack to help the other lanes, but he's coming up here for some reason. They're already on the inhib. Like, what the hell? Holy shit. Alright, just keep on going forward. Don't feed him. If they keep feeding, okay, good. No, nope. oh, nice dodge. So say if he keeps getting fed kills, it's gonna be hard to fight him. Right now he's still really squishy, extremely squishy. I don't want to spend too much mana because if he comes up here, I'm, I'll go oom. And I run the tower, which means my only option is to fight him. When Zach is at the tower. I could buy the entire item right now. Oh no, I can't. Thought I had a longsword somewhere. Alright, I'll just keep pushing for a bit. I just want the Miramana. And stack it faster. Or I could just sell the Dorans, actually. I'll do that. I don't really need it anymore. So we want Morellos. Actually, I don't need to sell Dorans. They pushed up already. And he's gonna go help mid, so... There's no reason for them to be up here. If they do try and kill me, I could escape. Or I could get to my tower at least. Alright, so they are still up here. And I'm just gonna keep the, uh, let's keep the tower safe. Swap them into the tower. Oh, too slow. Can't dodge. They're gonna have to protect their base pretty soon. Alright, they got it. Coming from behind. Alright, that's good. They they put pressure on the inhib. Oh, Thresh might get caught here. Does he have the godlike play? No. He doesn't have to. Because uh, Thresh, there's this cool thing you can do with Thresh where uh, when people are jumping at you or gap closing, you can throw your flay out early and it'll actually break their gap close, which is pretty cool. See the same thing with like Vayne's Condemn. Wait, what happened? Oh, Annie died. Okay, I need to I need to leave this. I just don't want to leave it so that Nidalee takes it. Now, let's go. Let's go uh defend mid. Where is team? Oh, Trin went bottom to split push. Uh, nice hook. Guy's dead. I don't know why he jumped in. He's also really squishy, he didn't build tanky. So he's like useless. He can't initiate, he's too squishy. Yeah, we, we get there in there. What is Chen doing? 
Oh my god. Is he just gonna die for this? Like, he doesn't have to die. We could just take it without him dying. Well. Save me. I wonder if I could click the lantern and swap at the same time. That that might mess it up. I don't think that will work. I don't think you can cast while you're lanterning in. That would be so cool if I could swap and then... Oh my god. That would be so bad though, because I'd be way out in the middle of nowhere. He doesn't want to throw yet. Alright. I'm so fat. I want to get CDR boots. Thousand gold. Right, he's going to let me have these. Nice guy. He's going for red. Yeah, I move extremely slow. Oh my god, I'm so slow. Uh, I don't think they have a tank to do that. There we go, now I can actually walk around and stuff. Just gonna let my team know I have a pink for Baron. Team is definitely gonna carry this game. That's good. Cause I screwed up early, dying under the tower like that. I completely just zoned out and realized like how like this is terrible. I was like probably at 500 health when Italy went in. I wasn't even watching myself. Well, I couldn't save him, but I got the shutdown at least. I didn't have my swap up, so. The only way I could have saved him was to like slow him down with red buff and my shield, but I, I couldn't. I tried. Well, we gotta shut down at least. So this is almost fully stacked. I wanna pick up a last whisper most likely. Just to scale with all that armor pen that I have. Gonna put pressure up here because they, they look like they're trying to fight something off bottom. Straven's pushing bottom. Maybe we came up here. Oh my god, I'm not even paying attention to myself. I was tanking the tower again. I seem to kind of uh, not pay attention to stuff like that. Which is uh, pretty bad. Where's Last Whisper? It's not a. Fine, I'll sell the pink ward because it's not like we're gonna do Baron anyways. God, I love tanking the tower. Oh god, he's doing the same thing. Well, I think we're throwing. That would, that would be about right. Where, where's Annie? Oh, she can turn around and fight still. Save the thresh. I'll come. I'm coming. I'm coming, buddy. What's Trin doing? He's tanking the tower too, but he has an ulti for that. Oh god. He might still die. Zach could kill him. Fuck. Wait, why did I do that? I could. I could still fight. No! Why'd I stop chasing? I took the lantern for fun and then I realized I could actually fight those guys, but whatever. Double buffs are good. Get him! Holy shit, Trin's gonna kill this guy. He has no passive up. Good stuff. Right, we're gonna take that top tower. Just walking through their jungle because I ain't scared of shit. Also, there's no one who could be in here. Um, could do it, but I'd rather not with the Italy on their team. We don't need it. If you don't need Baron, don't do it. There's no reason. Kill him! Good job. Don't need Baron. Just, uh, please. 
don't don't need it. Stop pinging it. Stop, stop pinging it. Just no. Like, we don't we don't need Baron to, to win this game at all. Oh, I, th I threw my Q out too soon. Whatever. He's gonna chase me. Holy shit, he had flash. Oh. That did not work out. I got flash verisulted there. Well, I died for Baron. Good job. Good job, team. Alright, so let's get some armor now. So we're going in deep, so we want to get like a, a frozen heart or a even a, a frozen fist. Frozen Heart or what's the other one? The Iceborne Gauntlet would be fine. I'd probably get the Gauntlet. The Frozen Heart is too much CDR. And their auto attack champion, Varus, isn't really that strong. And they don't have anyone else who auto attacks. Whereas with the Frozen... The Frozen... I keep calling it Frozen Fist. Because that's what... The name they came out with it was called the Frozen Fist until they... Uh, until they um, changed it to Iceborne Gauntlet. So uh, Iceborne Gauntlet, the reason I want that is it'll neatly cap me out on CDR. And every time I throw a Q out, I can auto attack to slow people. So it gives me even more kite potential outside of my uh, my shield. Which, by the way, when you pop your shield, uh, it only slows people while the shield holds. So like, if you're tanking people, uh, the slow is gonna go away. I'm just gonna take that real quick. So yeah, I'll probably get the the Iceborne. It's not usually something you see on Urgot, but uh, I can still use it. So close to 750 out of 750. Ah. Uh, I need to stop this Lulu. Actually, no, I don't. We can just end the game. What the fuck? So, I kind of, I'm kind of just like want to kill this guy, but it's like, uh, eh, you don't really have to. We just end the game. Let's do that. Draven with the hard carry, though. A beast. That's a free hit. Lulu's not even here. Dead. Oh wow, that is... Hey man, I'm eating spears for my team. Alright, so as long as I don't get hit by another spear, we're good. Take two in hips. I can always keep someone in front of me to make sure I don't get hit. And I think the game's over. Raven, carry. Wow, I didn't even, didn't even get any of that. Alright, whatever. Yeah, bot lane just snowballed out of control. 